Hello and welcome to Heist's M50 dogfighting video. Normally I put some nice music over top of this, but Shields I thought I would take some time to explain M50 dogfighting, uh, the good points, the bad points, and things that need to improve. So, here goes. So, here you'll find something rare, M50 on M50 action. Uh, normally it's best to ignore them. Uh, you'll see why. I mean, they're very tough to get in behind. This one... He's actually trying to kill somebody else so I can get him behind and shoot him. Um, but it's it's a frenetic fight. There's a lot of bobbing and weaving. It's hard to get anything. So you can see the shields go down reasonably quickly. Um, but they come back up uh, very fast. Now, any M50 pilot worth his salt will actually set his um, shield recharging to, to maximum because there's more than enough energy for his shields. So, um, here you see sort of difficulty keeping on. His shields are recharging, but he, he spins around and just slow-mo. I managed to get him down, but continue on shooting. And he does actually, what I'm assuming he's doing is he ejects before I actually get the final shots. So shot, no kill. So I'm assuming he ejected, which again, deny me the kill. It's, it's good tactics. So switching over now. Uh, there's a lot of 300 eyes in this match, which was sort of interesting. Um, Anarchos uh, is probably the best Shields of the guys that are in here, uh, which is why I sort of focused on it a bit. See a little bump there. I think the M M50 should have probably taken a bit more damage than that, but I did have maximum shields up. So, now you see, fighting this guy, A, you've got to be very quick with your hat. Uh, sort of lose track so rather than the secret to m50 is actually just to continually shoot 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 if you don't get the kills you at least should get your score up uh, and with 300 eyes you will see uh, their shields don't normally recharge as much so they're much easier to kill in m50 and unless the pilot is very adept at shaking me off and now the secret here is to actually, I call it punching the neck. You need to get from just Shields above the wings and up. Um, and, you know, sometimes you can cut, cut the cockpit off. So, let's see here. I also like to keep missile lock because if they want to waste their flares, so be it. If they waste enough, and if it's a long fight, um, I might actually then be able to get missiles to work. So, but otherwise, you just keep hammering on and staying on his tail. And this is a good combination of slowing down. Okay, here. Now I'm going to shoot for the neck. And you watch the top right there. You can see the damage is staying just above the wing. Some in the engine. Um, but this is, I think, actually a headshot because he was coming straight on. Like, since I'm um, Ho Jam, uh, which is hands on joystick and mouse, um, I can. Avoid ramming people and actually shoot slightly to the side. M50's got a very small cone of fire compared to Hornets, but if you stay within the cone, it's actually quite useful. And again, you stop ramming people. So again, uh, another 300 eye. Uh, it is all about making them waste their flares um, if they're fresh uh, until you can actually use missiles. Sometimes I just fire them anyway. It's just hey, sometimes you get a shot. And picking them down slowly. Um, Shields normalized. Yeah, just pick, pick, pick. Stay on the tail. 300 dies are actually quite easy to stay on the tail of, um, especially pilots who don't do boom and zoom. Um, and pilots who fly slowly are very easy to stay behind. Um, you'll also notice that I rarely. Uh, um, launch flares um, it's something that like unless I see or I feel like a missile's close I'm not even going to bother firing it um, I can't remember the last time I actually got hit by a missile I think once in the last week maybe in an F-50 so again a little head on action so if somebody comes head on you just need to sidle to the right just enough degrees that they don't really account for your movement you know, so, uh, so put the head on there. I've got my um, sort of 
thrusters on the hat of my joystick so I can sort of flick off the last second. Air fire missile. And just continue to pick away. This is actually a lot more more frustrating. It's like it's hard to stay on his tail. Um, so he's sort of doing a better job. But it's, you know, he slows down again. I'm just gonna, I hope this is where uh, the two pilots actually collided. And you see Anarchos died. And then he killed the guy I was trying to kill. So I, I think that's technically a bug. So he actually was killed, but he managed to get a kill after he died. Uh, so kill denied. I just immediately try and climb the closest target and continue shooting just to, to work my score up. You can see Normal this is a very slow, slow moving pilot. He is just making himself a sitting duck, really. You know, not recommended. I can just rack up kills, twist, staying behind him, and again, go for the neck. And it pops off beautifully here. Euphoria is dead. And then, just because I know this guy's probably close by, I just zip away. Just look for my next target. Um, and ideally, just sort of, if I need to recharge my shields, I'll just shift over into uh, the asteroids where the pilot is still going to follow. And it also throws off missiles without me having to fire a flare. Shields normalized. If I'm ever close to either red or blackout, I'll, uh, I'll roll. Usually it works the blood going the other way. Or I'll just get away and just make sure. So if I can't see, Shields normalized. Just, um, um, get away just be so sure I'm safe. Or you know, just get away and, and charge my, my shields. Again, so slow. And then again, you never want to be head at on. So you want to just slide in behind. Try and get back under the tail. And you can see he's going far too slowly here, and he just can tuck up under his belly, and he's got no chance of shooting there. There's somebody else on him. Uh, as soon as I start blackout, I just need to get away. Uh, you can decouple, flip, in this case I didn't need because I was going slowly enough, and then just continue the pump. And then I thought I'd try a missile here, and he did it at the last second. This was worth you know, the, just the last second it flicked off. So this was very good animation on CIG. Stay on the tail. And of course, he's breaking out and getting asteroids, and I can just easily steer out. Um, I usually keep pit full throttle, as you see. And again, this is just a lucky neck shot. Um, and then usually break rather than pulling my throttle down. Just because I also have changed direction so much. Just Shields normalized. Adjusting below maximum. And Shields no normalized. Targets. Might as well just try and shoot an M50. Top of the scoreboard for now. Uh, and then try. Now, this, this, this Hornet is actually a decent. Except I think here he's there's uh, something wrong. So you, you'll actually see he's got some more issues. So sort of zoom in behind, get on his tail, thinking, all right, we'll get some score up. It does pretty well. And then throw slow motion here. What does he do? He warps in behind me and then suddenly comes forward. And I am just like, what the hell? I hit him just because I wasn't expecting him to warp in behind me. Switch targets here, so I'd, I'd rather get a 300 die kill. Do decouple flip, come back, and I get another kill on Anarchos. Again, it's just like a problem here, the why I find him a bit more easy is he just does not boom and zoom. He tries to get in a turning war, and if you try and get into a turning fight with an M50, you are going to lose. It's, you know, 300 eyes at decent speed. So again, coming out, just 
just slip under his tail and then shoot for the cockpit. And he stops. I can stop faster than him. And just shot, shot, shot. Done. And of course, zip off again. And then continue. And again, no point in fighting any other M50s if there are Hornets or 300s around. And and but this this Hornet plays it right. He keeps his front to me. Um, and with with he's got many more gimbal weapons uh, to bring to bear. All I can do is try and get some lucky shots on the canopy um, and try and tuck under his tail. But he gets my shields down far enough that I've just got to zip away, turn around, and get my, my shields back before re-engaging. See what there's these, the other M50 is trying to engage, so I might as well just sort of assist out. It's almost like there's some sort of weird brotherhood between M50s. We all know it's, it's sort of pointless to fight one another if there are easier targets to be had. But again, you can see this one. This Hornet is mostly concentrating on me when I'm around, which is the smart thing to do since I'm the top of the Shield board in this. Um, and we're also around meteorites, or meteors, so I can't really, or asteroids rather, and I can't sort of blindly strafe and to the point where I almost black out, so I just need to get away, get some cover, turn around, make sure I'm all right. You see by now I've actually lost a wing. I can come out of fire, I haven't lost, lost a weapon yet. And I'm trying to keep on, but he's, again, I mean, compare it to like 300i. 300i should be able to sort of stay away more easily. Um, but no, this, this pilot actually does a better job. You know, because you, you turn around Shields and you get two, four, six, or, or eight uh, weapons firing on an M50. It's it's hard to dodge. Whereas, you know, a 300i is lucky to get one. So I mean, yes, you've got um, you can have a larger gimbaled weapon than an M50, but you know, having two Shields constant uh, bulldogs firing at it. What you, you lack in size and then if you make up for in two gimbal weapons and, and just constant stream of fire. So, and this poor saw I just got a few M50s just picking them apart, so all they can do is try to stay away. Uh, and then this was a strange kill. I don't know I actually did kill him. I got credited with it, so another bug or I got a shot that just slipped into the pilot's heart and killed him slowly. Shields normalized. Alright, so I'm just gonna make some distance. Slip in and do a, a, a sort of a full speed Shields straight run. Get in behind slowly. And again there's no reason with an M50 not to be shooting as much as possible. I mean eventually you will over but if you're two kilometers, you know, 1.5 clicks out, you might as well try. Shield good practice. I think I managed to get this kill. It gets nicked from me, but again, I've got enough score on it. It doesn't really matter. But again, you know, there's, by this time, I think there's like four and fifties. And then this was just in between, just many M50 shooting at one another and barely, you know, just getting a few points, but nothing really um, obvious. And then countdown to the end of the match. So, how does it end? I get six kills, um, and I don't get killed once. And it's just the way it goes. You know, M50s, if you play to their strengths, they're a very difficult opponent. But one on one, it's something different. Um, you know, if I had to one on one against uh, have a choice between 300i and a Hornet, I'd probably want to one on one against 300i. Hornets, when flown properly, are very, very difficult opponents. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully, this has uh, been helpful, useful. Um, I know there's going to be many changes made for balancing um, the M50, the 300i, the Hornet. So I don't think people should get, you know, demand that Kimballs get removed for M50s or 
you know, 300 eyes get overly buffed or hornets, you know, have shotguns in them so they can just blast M50s out of the sky. But, you know, things are going to change. But, you know, they, there's always ebb and flow. All right. Well, thanks for watching. This is Heist. Talk to you later.